Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I want to work to create a new event. So right now, here we are in the dashboard, in the events, and I want to add a new link here when we click to navigate to the events create. So let's open the VS code and let's navigate in the resources, views, events, index. And on the header, X lot name header, I'm going to add a link so I added a div with class flex justify between and then has shoe another div with an anchor tag and strap is going to be the route events create with some classes and say new event here now if I save here it is if I click we navigate to the events create for that let's create let's save this index as a create blade Okay, I'm going to remove now the link here. And let's navigate to the app HTTP controllers event controller. And on the create, let's return that view. So let's return the view. And here, let's say return the view events create like this. Let's save and refresh. And now here we have. Now instead of events here, let's say new event. And yeah, now okay. Here now we need to add a form to create a new event. And for that, I have prepared a form for you. So let's open the VS Code. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP-based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel, and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe, and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. So in, in the table, remove that and paste the four. And I'm going to show you from top to bottom. So here we have a form with method post. Action is going to be the route events store. And then I have used the unbindjs x data. I have created a video for that. So to how to create uh, depend the drop down with Laravel and Alpine.js. In here, I have added the country, city, cities, and a method or a function on country change, passing the event here and axios.get. We make a call with axios, and the axios is installed by default with Laravel. And we make a call to this slash countries slash and here we pass the event target value which is going to be the country ID and then we assign these cities with the response data. And here now we need to create this route to get countries so route get countries and passing the country ID here. So here's the, it's going to be the ID and then we I use a closure passing the country model, so route model binding, dollar sign country, and just return respond JSON country cities, or the relationship, okay? Also, I have added the ENC type multi-part form data, the CSRF token, and then a div with class grid, cap six, margin bottom six, and MD grid calls two. Then here we have a div for title, okay, which has a label for the title and input type text name title with some classes, also the error for the title. Then we have the div and the label for country ID. And here we have 
the select id x model country and then x on change we call this country on country change we have up here okay okay so when we change this select we call the on country change and then we populate the cities with the response data and then here we have the cities we have a label and then the select with name city id and here now we make a x4 so we use alpine.js and add an options with x bind value city id and x text city name okay here we have the x4 city in cities good also the error then we have the label for address and the input text for the address also also the error for the address then here we have for the image the label and the input type file name is image and also the error for the image also here we have now the start date and the end date and i have changed also so if i open the event model i say end date here because i had make a typo and it was end date like this okay then we have a start time here we need to say name also here this select this and say start time expect for the type the d time and also here we need to say start time for the error like this okay now we have the start time then we have the num tickets now you can pause the video and read also the classes but i'm going to show you just for the to save some time quick so here we have now the label and text area for description the error for description also we have uh, tags here as you can see but i'm going to just have here the tags because we are going to create a event without the tags right now and we have a button okay now let's save and let's see how it's going to look uh, in the create we need the countries first so let's let us go to the event controller and say countries to be equal with country model and i'm going to say all here and pass the countries and we need also the tags because here we make a for each tag so let's comment this up for now we're going to leave the tags for now and let's come here and refresh uh ah yeah we just say countries here so let's cut this and add compact and paste okay here is the form now we have the title and as you can see we have here the select country choose a country but the city is empty if i choose uh, united kingdom we have london and we have liverpool needs is there if we have if we select greece we have just athens patra and zagint so okay now let's work with the store method so let's open here the store and i'm going to create a new request so let's open the terminal here i'm going to create a new one new instance and say artisan make a request and i'm going to create uh, i'm going to name it create event request hit enter okay and use that one 
So let's create event request. Let's open this one. Change the authorized to be true. And I'm going to paste all of them here. So the title, address, image, start date, end date, uh, start time, country ID, city ID, description, and num tickets. Let's close this. The first thing here, I want to check if we have the image, if we have select the image, because by default, we need to have the image for the event. So let's say here, if the request has file and the name of the file is image, if that is true, now let's create the event. Otherwise, I'm going to say return back. Now, if we have the image, let's start and work. First, I'm going to say dollar sign data to be equal with the request and validated data, which is the title, address, image, start and date, start time, country, city, and so on. And I want, I have done this because now I want to change the image. The image is going to be the path of the image we are going to upload. So let's say dollar sign data now, array, and in the array, I'm going to say image is going to be equal with the, and I'm going to use the storage facade and say, put the file, specify the path, which is going to be events and I'm going to say dollar sign request file and the file name is image okay also we need to add the user ID and the slug here so the user ID is going to be so user underscore ID is going to be equal with auth ID and we can use, for example, the user. We can say auth user and create and say events create, but I want to use this. Then we need to add also the slug. So let's say slug, which can be equal with str slug and pass here the request title. Okay, we need to import this from the Illuminate support STR. And I think we are okay now. Now let's add also the, let's create the event and return back. So I'm going to say event create, pass here the data, and then return, not back, I'm going to return to the route events index. Let's save and let's see now if I open the browser and refresh. So let's use a fake filler. And we have United Kingdom, London, address, let's choose the file to be this one and start date, and date, start time, num tickets, let's say four, and description. Okay, now if I say create, we turn back to the events. And now let's see on the table plus events here, if I refresh, yeah, here we have the event. And I think we are okay, so let's go and see one more time. If I just say create without selecting, yeah, we have validation, fake filler again. Let's choose Greece for now, Athens, and say create. Oh yeah, we need to choose the image. Let's choose United Kingdom, or let's choose Greece, Athens, and I think we're okay. Let's say create, 
we return back to, not back we return to the events and let's see refresh yeah we have two events okay friends so that's it for the video and i hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best